When I look at this ship, it just speaks seedy to me. There's something suspicious about it. Not only is it a reefer with a Chinese name, indicating that it could be Chinese or Taiwanese, but now all of a sudden it's got a Bolivian flag, and that's a flag of convenience. The irony, of course, about La Paz and the flag of convenience of Bolivia is that it's a landlocked country and it has no coastline. I want to take a look around because these reefers will also have a log of all the longliners that came up to it and transshipped with it. Now imagine if all of a sudden we can find Ping Shin 101. I thought there'd be no one on board. I was wrong. They may have a pilot ladder they can toss down, but it looks like right now they're making a call. This will likely be for permission. Whoever they were talking to does the trick. Good evening, gentlemen. What's the story with this ship? I just work here. I don't know the story. Okay. There have been cases where reefers have been used for narcotics trafficking, typically in South America. Are you getting paid well for this job? At least. At least what? <laughs> I'm hunting for the reefer's log, or any other clues that could identify the ships that came alongside. Imagine all these longliners that are coming in, in this case, the Indian Ocean, all rendezvousing with this vessel and conducting massive transshipments. Longlining buoys. Pretty eerie down here. I'm waiting to find either a dead body or about a hundred migrants that are being smuggled. There's no GA, they ripped it off. GA is a general mm -hmm. assessment. It's basically like the floor plan blueprint. That's probably the captain's quarters in there. It's almost like he left in a complete rush. The reefer is a dead end. I need to know Hoodlum's name, and I still need a motive. 